so careful. Every every footstep, these boots have got seriously good grips on them and nothing on there. That is our route. That's very cool, isn't it? Warren's gone. Well, hello. Welcome to this video. I'm up in the uh, Peak District. What month are we in? October. Weather's changed a little bit. We're into autumn. Today, I'm gonna do semblance of the Dragon's Back hiking trail uh, parked up in Hollins Clough. That there is uh, Chrome Hill. Gonna camp there tonight, all being well. And that one in front of me is uh, Park House Hill. And they're part of, you know, the Dragon's Back trail. I'm just gonna walk around the base, swing around to the front, and then kind of do it in the line. Looks quite rugged. Uh, yeah, look at it. It's beautiful around here, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm out with Warren from Lindy's 360, he's way down there. We left this morning about nine o'clock, uh, got up into this area, half past one, something like that, maybe two. Had a quick pint in the pub and we're on our way. It's dark at half four, quarter to five, so we've only got a couple of hours, but we're only doing I don't know, two, three miles tonight. Hopefully we pitch up before it gets dark and then we carry on and do the rest of it in the morning. This particular trail is one I've wanted to do for a little while. I've seen lots of pictures and it looks absolutely stunning. So stay tuned, enjoy the video. Oh, cattle grid. Don't do your ankle, son, don't do your ankle. Right. Trying to beast some hills. He's a tight little gate. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> Goat path here. Or should we take that higher one? Uh, we're going up, basically, yeah. yeah. Okay, Warren. That was actually quite scary. <sighs> yeah, the rocks are, they're not wet, but they're slippery. I think it's sort of getting near sunset. We still got to do another hill. Which I don't really want to do in the dark. <sighs> so we better get on with it.
really nice. Right, so that was, what was it? Park House Park Hill. House. And uh, yeah, very nice it is too. And then that over there is Chrome Hill, which is the next uh, spine on the dragon's back. And that's really where we want to camp. I just looked at my watch and uh, yeah, we've got 15 minutes till official sunset. Yeah, I think it's more of, more of this kind of footpath now. So I think we need to go up a gear and uh, get ourselves over there oh these are very cool rocks though aren't they look at that really cool really cool oh it's still quite steep though look at it <laughs> crikey crikey mate bits of mud. That chalk stuff is dead slippery. Whoa! God. Oh my god. I got a skirt across this. That is <laughs> yeah that's the end. Yeah, I've got to scramble across there to get to that bit of the footpath. Yes. Would you pick up my gun? I, I absolutely will do that. I don't think I'm coming back. Uh, that was, uh, that was hairy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, going down from that corner and uh, I thought it was just going to be footpath but no little little minor scramble very cool very cool rapidly running out of light though I think I've said that more than once but oh god it's true
down on my thumb. Oh man, I think we're nearly, we're nearly down to the ground. It's got this last bit to do, oh slippery, to the sheep. Warren's gone. Uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful doing this. <sighs> yeah. I think without massive heavy packs on, it would be okay, but you're carrying kind of 16 odd kilos. Makes everything a little bit dicey. Right, let's get down this bit. You okay? Yeah, yeah I'm alright. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I probably should put this camera away and not film, but it's quite fun. I'm just gonna sit for a minute. Sorry, this is shaky, shaky cam time. Uh, that little bit to do, we can do it. Get rid of them. I've lost the pole. Oh, there we go. Jammed. You what? I got a pole jammed. Did you get it? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's quite hairy coming down there, isn't it? Yeah. Steady, steady. We're down. <laughs> oh man, that was dicey. Really dicey. It was good fun, but, oh man. I think it's got gravel in me crack. So yeah, that was Park House Hill, up and over. Now we're gonna go Chrome Hill, which we've just gotta go up and, and then look for somewhere to camp up on top. Oh, I've got stones in my shoes as well. I think that's the start of Chrome Hill there. Not sure, I have to check the map. I think it is. I think Chrome Hill's bigger than that last one, but obviously it doesn't look it there, but I think it's bigger as you go up, as hills usually do. Oh, right, yeah. Gonna have a quick stop, drink some water, check the map, and then we better push on. I'm rapidly losing the light. Okay, I'm, I'm pitched in a tent. We're on the top of Chrome Hill. Uh, we lost the light about five minutes after uh, 
we got down off of uh, Park House Hill and we just started the ascent and suddenly it was dark so we pretty much did Chrome Hill in the pitch black. That wasn't too bad, it's mostly sort of just grassy steep footpath. Um, but yeah we're pitched just literally just off the summit, there's like a rocky craggy bit just there which I'll show you in the morning. Um, but yeah the rain's come so halfway up we had to put wet gear on and you know get, get a general shift on. Um, but yeah pitched up now. Warren's got the kettle on for a uh, cup of hot chocolate and uh, just having a little bit of a sort out at the moment. It's, it's just a gear pile in here, it's everywhere. So I think I need to just calm myself for a minute and um, sort out my gear, make sure nothing's gonna get wet and you know, that we're all, that we're all tickety-boo as it were. But yeah, that was a really good, it was a really good uh, hike. That was really fun. But um, yeah, hairy at times, hairy, very slippery. Oh, knackered now. Uh, yeah, I think it's six o'clock, so I'm gonna have hot chocolate and then get some food on. We pitch quite close together so we can be sociable, but old uh, old sociable Charlie over there has just zipped his tent up. It's raining! <laughs> <laughs> the wind's going that way, so the rain is, is hitting the back side of my tent, but it was going straight in his door, so yeah, he's uh, he's... He's closed up for a few minutes. Oh, thanks, Warren. Nice, Dan. Mm. Oh, that's hot. That's tongue-burningly hot. Oh, it's nippy now. It's nippy. And, yeah, keep it all nice and simple with the uh, you know, dehydrated food. And I've got an all-day breakfast for the morning, which I'm looking forward to. Mm. Maybe. Oh. I just find these pots, you leave the gas in and they go rusty, so I use a, a little tissue cosy to try and keep the, keep the pot from going manky. That was a calendar reminder to tell me to take my recycling bin out. Uh, yes, so what have we got for tonight? I think it's some sort of noodle thing. Now there's someone at the door. <laughs> it's busy in my tent tonight. Uh, let's open the door. Let some fumes out. Shout out to Headley right, Down. It's, raining, so it's a proper beer. <laughs> None of that Yorkshire pudding, old English ale right. shit. Cheers, Warren. Oh, I'm talking to you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, nice one, Dan. Cheers. Cheers. So tonight, Matthew, I'm in my Robins Chaser One, one round tent. Got a new mat as well. Got it for my birthday in the summer. My wife got it for me, and I've not used it because it's a winter mat. But yeah, I've got the um, Thermarest. Xtherm, which I blew up yesterday when I was packing, just to make sure it inflated and laid on it and immediately felt the warmth from underneath it. But yeah, our value on it's like seven point something. It's ridiculous. So I'm really looking forward to using that this winter. I've always wanted one. When I bought, I bought my uh, the X Lite one. It was a toss up between the two. There are a lot of money, so I went for the X Lite at the time. And that's good, I've used that. I've used that for about five years. And I used it all summer this year. But I just wanted a little bit more R value. <laughs> and I've got the, you know, a couple of mats with decent R value, but the Thermarest one is, is really small packing wise, so that's good. 
That'll be my special occasion mountain map. But yeah, it looks like they've redesigned it because it's different to what I've seen. Just hope it's comfy. Quite happy in here now. <laughs> it is getting. We're now coming to winter, the clocks have changed, so it's, um, it's dark early, it's dark for a long time, which is, oh, wind's getting up, which is, um, can be tough to deal with, especially on your own, it's like the two of you, because you can have conversations and all, but if the weather's bad or it's cold or whatever, you've got to be in your tent by the, time, by the time it gets dark and you're effectively in your tent 12 hours well I quite like it I mean the summer's nice isn't it sitting out watching the sunset at half past nine something about autumn winter camping I really like you right over there you're having yeah. a coughing <laughs> fit I think instead of eating some of those nuts, I breathed them in. Mm, Warren's been inhaling his yeah, nuts. Yeah, not, not ideal, not to be recommended. Yes, note to self, don't inhale Warren's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not after he's been walking all day. <laughs> yes, Dan. What do you think about your meal time? Uh, whenever you're ready, Warren. Yeah. Um, I'm just adding hot water to me stuff. Yeah, Ouch. I'm... I missed. <laughs> yes, stuff. No, I'm. What am I doing? What, mm. what do I need to do? Just checking. I'm just re getting the bed back up. Have you got you got a plate? Uh, no. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do is I will. Come here, you're wittering the... away over there. Yeah, I am. I am. Wittering I'm away. Plate up using my frying pan thing, my meal, so at least I can see what it looks like. I will dollop some veg out and then give you my pot of rest of veg. Okay. And then you can do what you want. Merci beaucoup. Do what you blinking well want to do. a bit of hot water in my pudding bowl with that extra sauce just to keep that hot. I'm going to give this a fair old time to do its thing. Now. I forgot my blooming down pouch for my food which I've been going about. Yeah I don't know if you heard what Warren was saying but uh, he's cooked up some sugar snaps and some peppers and mush mushrooms and things so he said he's going to pass a little bit over and I'll just tip it in my noodles and um, have this sweet and sour that sounds like it'd be quite nice actually good I bet you're interested aren't you I bet you are I can't please. So I think now's the time. Let's do that. Excuse me. Oh, Warren has very kindly given me a load of mushy veg. Check that out. Nice. So I'm going to tip that. Oh, you got my hand. You got my hand. Oh, sorry. Put that in there. And I get the feeling he wants his handle back. There you go. And a frisbee. You reach? Yeah, I've got it. Thank you. Nice. And then add my sweet and sour gubbins. Oh, yes. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, that's a bit fuller now. It's got some weight to it. Oh, well, and this smells amazing now. My fresh veg in there, sweet and sour sauce in there, and the noodles and the chicken. That smells lovely. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. 
Thank you very much. That's good, Dad. Yeah, mm. no. Let's get a tent up. Those little sachets of sauce. That's such a pro tip. I've been eating these for a long time. You know, sometimes they're a bit dry and horrible. I want to see Warren do it. And I thought, ah, oh, there's no point carrying it. But that's the second time I've done it where I've added a bit of sauce and it really makes a difference. Right, just been out for a wee. And uh, yeah, it wasn't pleasant. I put my wet weather gear on to go out there. Uh, right, yes, new mat. Look at it, look at it, it's tiny. Very exciting. I think I'm going to get my bed ready. I need my light. It's the only problem with a one man tent, it's difficult to do anything. And in a two man tent, you kind of sit one side where your mat blows up. One man tent, you got to kind of. <laughs> Hover and crouch over things. I mean, the pump sounds like it's going running out of batteries. Red light just came on. You will notice that. I wonder if that means low battery. I've had this pump a while, and uh, you know, I use it pretty consistently. And I think it. Uh, you know, I've used it over a couple of winters. And it's uh, cold, doesn't do batteries any good. But yeah, I'll have to get a new one of them at some point. Right. Got the uh, Quasar. Quasar! Sleeping bag tonight. Which is a winter bag, but it's not my, it's not my primary winter bag. I saved that. I've got a rab one at home, which I sort of trust in the dead of winter but this one's pretty good I've, I've used it quite a bit now and I'm starting to get a bit of faith in it yeah it's not bad not bad at all what did I do oh, I put it there. Shh. Shh. nice oh, that's it yeah I'm ready Ready for bed. I'm going to lose this thing for sleep. Use it as an extra bit of pillow. But, oh, I'll just warm up for a minute. It got cold when I went outside. I've had a wee. I've checked all my guy lines. Tightened them up a little bit because it is a bit gnarly out there. But, yep, that's it. So, see you in the morning. Bright and cheerful. I've got a little bit more walking to do. There's some cool stuff that way. Uh, we're doing like a circular walk. So I've got the rest of it to do tomorrow. Uh, I think there's like a archway, you know, rock formation archway thing. Which I don't know if we walk under it or over it. I'm not sure, but that'd be quite cool. It's just literally the other side of the peak. You haven't even seen where we are. It's, it's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, enough talking for now. We'll catch up in the morning. I don't think it's going to be dry though. I think it's going to be a wet weather day tomorrow. So, whatever. Strap in. Strap in your big boy pants, Dan. Get on with it. Right. See you in the morning. Oh, Warren. Hello. Good night. All night then, Dan. Night. See you in the morning. Yeah. Night, everyone. Everybody, it's half past six. Probably caught seven now, but woke up at half past six. So, yeah, it stopped raining. It rained all night pretty much. 
And uh, yeah, it woke me up a few times. It was noisy. All good, all dry, warm, all the rest of it. So I'm gonna get some coffee on. Whoa, careful. And we want it to be, you know, off pretty sharp because this is it's quite a busy place, quite touristy. So uh, yeah, we weren't going to dilly dally around this morning. Be off before people start showing up. It is a Monday morning, so I can't see too many people coming up here. But you never know. Yeah. But yes, yeah, nice spot. Let's see where we are now. Have you got a spare coffee? Yeah. I can replace it because I've got them in the car. I bought, but didn't put in. Yeah, no worries. Is that all right? Yeah. Oh, good morning, Warren. Good morning, Dan, actually. Look who it is. Oh, yeah, morning. Good morning, <laughs> <Dan>. <laughs> You want coffee? Yeah. I've got, I've got frothy stuff. Oh, anything's good. One of them? Yeah, excellent, yeah. excellent, thank you. How you doing then, you all right? Yeah, excellent, yeah. Slept yeah. like, slept like slept the proverbial well. baby. Very well. Three o'clock I woke up and had a bit of a stretch and moved a few things around here because things had kind of got uncomfortable, but yeah, all good. Nice. All good. Nice. Yeah. And it's... It's dry. Murky, but it's dry. I know. Actually, we know. might be lucky and get off. Yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah. I think I'm going to put wets on because it's yeah. due to rain yeah. Yeah. all day. Yeah. Oh, I'm. Yeah. It's damp. Kind of air. Moist. It? Moist. <laughs> it's moist. <laughs> I like moist. Moist is a dirty oh, word. Moist is a good word. <laughs> it's just. Oh, it's probably coming up for half seven. I packed up most of my bed. Uh, organise myself a little bit in here so it won't take long to finish but I'm just going to stop and eat some orange goo oh that's nicer than porridge Lighter bags today, lighter bags. Yeah, I can see it this morning, but Park House Hill, you can just see it there. It's not too far away. They're cool lumps that stick up there, aren't they? Misty and murky down there. And I think that's the top of Chrome Hill. I might be wrong, but I think that's the peak. So we were just off it. You all ready, Alfonso? Yeah, I adjusted my straps. I think we're done and it's time to go. Uh, we'll visit that very, very top and then we'll go up and over. And um, oh yeah, there's the archway. Let's go and find the archway. That'll be nice. It's quarter past eight, so that's not bad. Being up and done in good time. Look at the autumn colors. Uh, you probably can't see, but just below the mist, those trees there, very pretty. Summit Batman to the summit. 
seriously slippery up the top there yeah look at this more spines of the dragon's back that is our route that's very cool isn't it if we can find the way down there is a path Whoa. my god it's 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 dicey up here so careful every every footstep if i hit a bit of it i think i think Warren says limestone every time i hit a bit of that limestone i just skid on it it's really slippery you gotta be careful we don't go over today because that won't be any fun will it yeah look just these boots have got seriously good grips on them and nothing on there grass is okay when you touch onto this stuff they just I feel I'm giving <laughs> and I got to get down that And that was so slippery. Ooh. What those birds are? I don't know if you can hear the noise. <laughs> unfamiliar to me. <sighs> well, I'm awake now, I tell you. Whatever it is, half eight, quarter to nine. AV archway thing, I think I can see it. Gotta go over that, surely. Oh god. This landscape is so dramatic. Look at that. Rocky, rocky, rocky stuff. Rocky three. Oh yeah, I'm going up. Now I have to go down and stick my head through it as well while I'm here. Might take my bag off actually. Make life easier, wouldn't it? God, that's a great view, isn't it? All right, let's go down into it. Oh. man look at the view I'm glad I came here that was really cool 
Right, we better move on. What am I walking to do yet? You've done it. Yeah. That's the state of my hand. Uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, it looks bigger from up there. It I is, thought yeah. we could walk in it, but it's quite small. Oh god. The grass is so much more grippy than the, yeah. than the rock. Look at that, Warren. Oh, the our uh, roof. It's all, it's all dragons back. Bonanza. That was really good, by the way. Yeah, yeah Thank that you. was. Thank you for planning it. I enjoyed it. All right. Well, we're coming to the end of Chrome Hill. Just stop. Put my backpack cover on because the rain is light, but it's it's pretty incessant, and I've got another night's camping to do here, so. Keep my stuff dry is a sensible move. But yes, we're going to go to Tor Rock now, which is that knobble there in the distance. And apparently there's some minor chasm that we're going to walk past. Uh, Warren said it was a uh, vagina in the landscape that he said was quite interesting to look at. So I'm going to go past that and then uh, up to the top of Tor Rock and then we start swinging around back towards where we left the car. Right, we are at the vagina. <laughs> you called it, not me. Yeah, I did. <laughs> nice. Well, scene one. See them all, yeah, Warren. Right. <laughs> I prefer looking at Chrome Hill. That is, looks fabulous from here. Oh, it does in the light. Yes. Really cool. I'm getting wet, you know. You got your wet on? Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. So where's Tor Rock? Tor Rock. Is that, that, that thing there? Yeah, that is Tor. Oh, we're nearly there. We are. Yeah. Lovely sheepies in our field. Oh, we're in their field, more like. Very pretty, very pretty. They're hardy creatures, aren't they? Out in all weathers. They don't complain, do they? They don't complain. Just eat a bit of grass. Hello. You all right? Hello. My granddad kept sheep. Many, 
moons ago. That's weird, that's some some sort of Victorian hilltop swimming pool. I don't know what it is. Looks too high to be an animal water trough. Looks like something you'd bathe in. It's nicely finished with a bit of brick and some tiles. Who wouldn't want to have a little bath up here? Got a problem, Warren. Yeah, it's locked. Tall rock is locked. Maybe it's closed. Is it access land? Oh, I check. Yeah. There's a gate and it's locked. Just checking if it's access land. If it is, we'll just climb the fence. No, we're not on access land. Are we not? It's private. Yeah. Yeah. You can't get to it over there either. It's fenced. Right? There's a wall all the way around it. Maybe we're not allowed in. What are we going to do, Warren? Well, I've been over it. You know what we could do? Could go to the pub. Could work it on the way to the pub, aren't we? <laughs> It's more of the same. I quite like the idea of, oh, it's locked. It's actually not access land. I quite like the dialogue about it. He likes the dialogue of it. Oh, you. <laughs> yeah, I do. You do dialogue on your video. Yeah, I'll, I'll just film it. it as it happens. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> so, so, we, so we won't go in. No, we won't go in. We won't go in. No. Fine. Good dialogue, Good Warren. dialogue. <laughs> Yep, we're being good boys. We're not trespassing, we're on the path. So that over there. <laughs> that over there is uh, tall rock. And no one's allowed on it. Oh, actually, there's a farm here. I wonder if it's just part of their immediate land hence why they don't want people up it there's a farm there there's a little caravan with a chimney I wonder if that's a little glamping thing and then this is part of their kind of playground who knows but yeah last thing we want is a angry person yelling us to get off his land Go off my land! <laughs> Alright, here's a question. Does anyone, probably over the age of 40, remember the PlayStation 2 game Hogs of War? Please put it in the comments. I want someone to have remembered it. It was my favourite game for a while. All the characters were voiced by Rick Mail, and one of them was a farmer. And before he shot someone, he yelled, Get off my land! Which was very funny. You've been worrying my sheep. <laughs> uh, Tommy's Trotters, that was the British team. Anyway, enough of that. We're walking, we've got about a mile probably, then we're going to go to the pub and have a very early pint. Gorgeous old Leyland tractor. <laughs> really cool. I wonder what that was. Is it a plough? No, just a cart. A wagon. Yeah. A wagon. Yeah. It's really cool. This where we are is Booth Farm, and it's got right. It's, it's just near Hollins Hill. Hollins. Clough Hill or Hollins Hill, whatever it is. But it's got like that old tractor and the old carts and there's a few other skeletal things. But it's got um, glamping pods in and around and they've all got their own little private area. I would come here with my 
wife for sure. I saw a family coming out of one and they had, you know, a couple of little children. So there are enough beds in them. There's one down there. What a view. That is spectacular. There's one up here. But there's some in those trees and they're really kind of secluded looking. So if you look for a holiday in the Peak District to do some, you know, walking and stuff, I don't know how much it is or anything. We, do, we just passed through it. But yeah, Booth Farm. It's a really good setup. And it's right in the heart of it all. Look at that. A little rocking chair on the veranda, a little hammock, swing chair. I really like that. I'm gonna mention it to my wife. Maybe we come here in the summer. Because you can just then disappear into these hills for the day and then come back and sit on your veranda. Very cool. Well, I think I'm going to end this here. Ooh. You okay? Yep. I got that on film, you Did know. You? I just turned around to talk to I you. I turned. I was thinking, I was thinking of you. I'm fine. Come on up, you come. Oh, I might just take my bag off. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. It's my ankle that went. Oh, did it? Yeah. It and I thought, oh, my camera. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I got a stone or something. Oh, uh, I just turned turn my camera around to say goodbye to was, Warren and he disappeared. About, I realised you'd done that. And then I thought, oh. What's my jacket like? Oh, that's okay. You've got some holes under your armpit. But I think they zip up again. Oh, those ones. <laughs> well, that was entertaining. It was. Yeah, all good. So anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to end this video here. <laughs> we you, were talking about it slipping. Are you, uh, you okay with me including that? Well, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Quick tumble. <laughs> Mr. Tumble. Uh, thank you, Warren. We'll let him put yeah, his bag on. Good. We'll let him put his bag on. We'll do this again in a minute. Hold on. Anyway, so where was I? Yes. I'm going to end it here. And uh, yeah, I've had a lovely trip. Speaking of trip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, take two. <laughs> We've had a good time. Yeah, 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 nice. Super good. Thank you for your company. Yeah, it's been really good. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah. you. Good did, chat. You did a lot of the planning and yeah. stuff. I said, I want to go up a hill that I've got to do some scrambling on. and Yeah, we did that. You obliged. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's good. Uh, yes, so check out uh, Linley's 360. Uh, I will link his channel in the video description. And uh, he will have a rendition of this trip, I'm sure, in the near future. But yeah, from the Peak District. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, obviously, leave a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, if you didn't like the video, well, that's tough shit, isn't it? Maybe leave a thumbs up anyway. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you. See you later.